Yeah. Mm. Of course, Junior's not going to ride behind his dad long, is he? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I bet his dad's hot right now, don't you? <clears throat> don't you know, Dale? Yeah. Oh. oh, what was that? Oh, she whiffed. What, Man. What? Shock broke. Wow. Shocking revelation and happy. He's not. He won't be. Unless mm -hmm. he, no. he yeah. Make a heck of a run if he does. Last car on the lead lap, four seconds back. Has he got a problem no, on I him? think he's riding. Just riding. I really think I might be wrong, but thank you. Think DJ and he are back yeah, there riding. That's, that's right there. And Bobby Devine was back there with him a while, not ten laps ago, and there he is on the second. Yep. yep. Exactly. Uh -oh. got in the is that Bickle in the middle? Yeah. Well, welcome back to Talladega Super Speedway. Take a deep breath and watch what's about to unfold here in these final laps. 44 lead changes among 20 drivers. We still have one pit stop to go. That's coming up in about seven or eight laps. And there is the points leader up close and personal. That big interstate battery's hood for Bobby Levani, right behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. Well, first car on the pit road will be the car number 10, the Aaron's Rents Pontiac for Johnny Benson, James Benson Company. Will they do a gas and go? Let's watch. At least right side tires. Now they will not have to have a fuel tank, full tank of fuel, because they only have about 20 laps to go. But they're going to change all four. I think I, I really believe that Benson's car all of a sudden he lost the handle on the car, so they're going to make some adjustments and change four tires. And hopefully, get to it better. And he can get lucky, and all the rest of the cars have to make their pit stop before to say a caution flag comes up, because he is going to lose the lap. No doubt. He is pedaling hard as he can, but obviously with that plate, here come the leaders at 190, and Benson is probably less than 100 miles an hour coming off of pit road. <laughs> 30 left from the checkered flag at Talladega Super Speedway. Now there's the car number 94. A moment ago, we were talking about Bill Elliott back there. He is... The last car, or was the last car in the lead lap, and he's back there with the 88 car for Dale Jarrett. You've got to wonder what they're doing. Well, I think they were riding. They saw all that action going on up in front of them, and I think that they said, hey, let's just sit back here and ride in case that big one happens. You know, we'll be in position maybe to to uh, get slowed down. And DJ, I think, has decided to punch his, and he's uh, coming back up through there. Really. He must have changed songs in the CD player. He's just driving a totally different tune this lap than he was about the last seven or eight laps. What about the 10 car pit stop coming in early right on left? Well, Jerry, Johnny came on the radio, said he had a bad vibration, thought he was getting a right rear tire going down. They are checking him right now, and it appears that all the tires do have air in them. But, uh, hey, if it doesn't feel good out there, probably the best move for the driver to bring it in so it doesn't go in the fence. Junior showing the way here at Talladega as we get closer and closer to pit stops. Earnhardt Jr., a two-time winner already this year. One at Texas back on April 2nd. One at Richmond back on May the 6th. There's a the second pack led by Ricky Love, who's gone over two years now since his last victory. Coming at Martinsville back in the spring of 98. And right now, Bobby Lamar has got to be loving it. Running in second spot. 
single file. Single file has his teammate Tony Stewart behind him. He knows that Tony is a lap down, but he knows Tony is not going to do something to him. Take a chance on hitting the 18 car, so life is bland for Bobby Labonte right now. Well, the crews are talking about waiting a little bit for pit stops, so we'll take a quick break and come back and cover those final pit stops of the day. Green flag pit stops coming up. Earnhardt Jr., Bobby Labonte, they do Earnhardt. That's a top four. Skinner. Boy, Skinner, he almost got the four car. You see that? Man. Mike. Think about it, big guy. Goodness. Guess I'm going to write this down. Like 61. several laps. Yeah, we'll be the next lap or two. Mm -hmm. Tom Byron. 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 Leading, what's the name? BYNUN. Bynum Hutton, BYNUN. Okay. BYRUM, Byram. Okay. Okay. Byram. There you go. Freeway tie for second. Okay. Talladega Super Speedway. There have been no pit stops among the leaders. A moment ago, the 99 car on pit road for a stop. He made two right side tire change with all the possibility of tire going down. Now, coming up next, the PGA Las Vegas Invitational. Tom Byram, our leader, but it's a three way tie for a second spot. We're going out to the Las Vegas Invitational PGA event at the conclusion of our live coverage of NASCAR action from Talladega. During that break, the 99 car of Jeff Burton made, I guess, an unscheduled pit stop. Changed right side tires and is now back on the racetrack. Now, he was going to have to stop anyway, Benny, but the fact that he did not have anybody to run with once he got back out on the racetrack, and the leaders are coming up on him now to put him a lap down. And so he's lost perhaps a second lap to the leaders. Since so even if they stop behind him, it still is going to hurt him because they'll have cars to run with. There's a look at Jeff Burton and the leaders right behind him. Take a look at the, the bumper cam on the parts. Plus, uh, see, here comes Earnhardt Jr. coming right at him. Bill Weber? Well, Jeff Burton, as the uh, leaders roar by him, had to come in. He felt he had a vibration. They changed right side tires, looked at the lefts. The left looked okay. They took the rights off. The rights appear to be fine. So Burton had a vibration. That's why he put it early. But they told him when he gets on the track to try and hang with Tony Stewart because Stewart does not have to stop. And the car number 36, Kenny Schrader. He'll be having to make a pit stop anyway, but he's obviously slowing down uh, from that lead pack. And this, this probably is going to be an unscheduled stop. He's slowing down considerably and did not come down pit road. Well, he's down in one and two right now. And if you went by a microphone down there, it uh, sounded to me like it might be on seven cylinders. But uh, if Schrader has a problem and he chose not to make a pit stop, evidently, he feels like he's going to ride it out. And we've been told it definitely is an engine problem. So good here is Benny on hearing that car when he came by. 23 laps to go. Any time now. These cars, the last pitted on lap 115. So 50 laps to go. They made their pit stop. 